What you nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89, and today's manga nerdigan live reaction is going to be for Kingdom Chapter 47. And last chapter we saw um, Zhao and Ki come to um, to Kin to uh, for negotiations, and I still think it's a trap. We'll find out why the fuck is freaking Zhao there with Ki and what the fuck they want. I understand Ki, cause cause Ki. Um, key is cool. It's just, it, it's just Zhao, man. Ugh, especially, um, especially the representative from Zhao. So anyway, let's get to the chapter. Alrighty. As we do not know what the key king is here to discuss, we should limit the audience to only a few members of importance. Hence, we cannot use the audience hall. We will conduct the, um, talk at, at the secluded Huiki mansion. This way, sire. What if Riboku, that fucking bastard, I'm telling you, it's a trap. Um, Riboku, as I said last week, Riboku is a fucking troll. He, he, uh, tricked us last time. That's why I don't, I don't trust Riboku. He is wasting his turn. His audience will be back at the audience hall. And while we're not sure what his intentions are either, the key king is, is of greater priority. I agree. Don't, I, I like, fuck you, Riboku. Fuck you. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm with you on this. I'm with him on this one. Fuck Roboku. Roboku, screw you. Like, the Key King was the one that saved our asses the last time with the Coalition War. For a neighboring king to show up in Kanya like this is unheard of in recent years. Normally, the entire state would be rolling out the red carpet. Is that Huiki uh, Mansion? Yes, sire. And the Key King? Um, he's still at the Blue Palace below. Did you prepare a throne? We did not, sire. For two kings, we erred on the side, um, side of politeness with equal seats. But the room still isn't ready yet. Curses, suddenly showing up um, out of thin air and saying, I don't intend to stay for long, so preparable um, a suitable room. Hmm. hmm. The eastern monarch arrives at the western capital for, um, for an audience. Hi, um, yo, yo. Ah, here we go. Greetings, O oh, king of kin. The king of key. My apologies for rushing you like this, uh, Chancellor. No, not at all. Ooh, looks good. What dish is this? Salt roasted ox tongue, your majesty. I told um, Saitako to prepare for me a sampling of Kin's delicacies. So uh, shall we sit here and discuss things over a meal, your majesty? Have you any qualms with that? What? Uh, a moment, your majesty. This, uh, this talk is between two kings and mighty nations. How could it be held on a landing between stairs? Um, the room at um, Huiki Mansion is being prepared as we speak. It shall be ready shortly, so please. If I just wanted to sit down and talk in some closed-off room, then I wouldn't have come all the way here to Kin. I understand, Chancellor, that I came so that I could get a feel of the man who rules over the state named Kin. So he's like, hmm. Very well, we shall conduct it here. So, sire, then let us begin. Um, unfortunately, there are enough um, seats for Saitaku and the pair of us. I'm afraid I'll have to ask the chancellors to leave us. I even us? Just the three of you? Oh no, no. My job is just to um, is my job is to simply act as um, an intermediary. Hmm. I shall watch the festivities from over here. The chancellor can have my seat, except that there appear to be um, two of them. You have my apologies, but could you uh, leave us? Um, Shall we come? Oh no! Yes, uh, yes, sire. Let us go, um, Kaiko. Kaiku, consider yourselves dismissed as well, wait staff. While I do enjoy to, while I do intend to enjoy this meal, first we must discuss matters of of import. Now, now, leave the, um, leave the wine here, sir. Why did um Saitakusama pick me? Now then. It's starting. Allow me. It's starting. A meeting between the two kings of East and West to, pro uh, to properly introduce myself. Awaken, Awaken, eighth king of the state of Ki. What? Yo, what a present. So this is the ruler of the great eastern state of Ki. 21st ki uh, king of Kin, Else. Yeah, look at that. Look at that free, scalding breeze that Else is giving off. It, this time, it's his majesty giving off a scalding breeze. <laughs> Yo, ho, oh, despite your pretty face, you're quite a ferocious one, exactly as um, Saitaku described. Well then, your majesty, a moment please, your majesty. 
First, concerning the coalition army four years ago when Key agreed to secede from the alliance, allow me to once again give you my formal thanks as the king of, of um, Kin. Were it not for your actions on that day, I honestly cannot even imagine the state that Kin um, would be in today. Sire, when I agreed to your terms um, years ago, I did not do so out of, the desire, out of a desire to help Kin. The true reason I decided to withdraw from the coalition on that day was because I believed that a world where Kin had been destroyed, its lands and people being fought over like scraps between starving dogs by the six states, would be um, a world of such depravity um, and degeneration that I could not even bear to uh, bear looking at it. Hmm. There's, there's a catch to this! However... How ironic it is that you, the very man whose fate was sp uh, spared by that decision, now desires to eradicate the six other states and snatch up everything for yourself, painting a future of even greater depravity for than the one you so narrowly avoided. I know, that's what, you know, he, he brings up a good point. The King of Key, um, Ken, um, uh, not Ken, the King of Key brings up a good point. Like, if, um, he didn't leave, and the, the reason why he left was that he did not want to see the land, um, cause if he would have stayed in the coalition, then the, um, the coalition army would have like literally been fighting over the, uh, over the state of Ken and, um, and divided it up for themselves. And he didn't want to see the, um, other states go into, uh, go into a, um, a state of depravity. But ironically enough, that's what else he wants to do. He wants to take the land, the, um, whole country of China for himself. I, I love the irony of this. Your Majesty, if you claim that to unify China is an act of um, depravity, then I must firmly deny that accusation. Yes, that is exactly it. That is what I came to see you do, O oh King of Kin. Ooh, he got you there! When I first heard from um, Saitaku uh, your goal of unification, do you know what my first thought was? That perhaps I should join forces with Zhao, rally together um, a second coalition army, and this time wipe Kin off the map for good. What?! It was what his king said next that gave me pause. That there would come a world where a man need not kill each other. Is that correct? Yes, of course. I ha a naive fantasy that is impossible in reality. You are wrong. Your Majesty, when I heard of this utopia of yours, just like um, Saitaku, honestly, even I felt a stirring within my chest. But you see, in between the two visions of conquest of the six states, in a world where no need... Um, no one needs to be killed. There lies an essential um, reality that you have overlooked. To destroy a state, a nation, a country is to force the people of the vanquished enemy into becoming um, citizens of kin. Have you given any thoughts to their plight? Ooh! He got you there, say! He got you there, say! Let's see what he has to say to that. For a citizen, their nation is the soil in which they spread their roots. Take that away, and just like a plant, their minds and bodies shall surely wither away. That is to say, every single person alive in the, in the six states right now, you intend to see them turn to dust. But, but uh, here we go. Um, but, but they simply need to spread new roots and kin instead, and and how will they do that? Joy Duncan, I know you're trying to stick up for say. This is Say's battle. Stay the fuck out of this. Seriously, I, I know you're trying to help, but this is Say's battle, not yours. Um, what of those who refuse to become kin? Will you force through them through violence the same way that you crush uh, that you used to crush their homeland? Well, not much other choice is there. But to carry that out on on the whole of China, that would um be a world even more twisted than the 500 years of constant war we have endured up to, until now. Truly the epitome of um, depravity. Ooh, how is he going to get out of this one? How is Say going to get out of this one? After you have left the ruins of, of uh, the six in ruins of the six in your wake, how do you intend to save the people of the vanquished states? You insisted that your that your utopia was not simply an empty fantasy. Then simply, um, or not simply, then surely you must have an answer that would satisfy even I, the King of Key, one of the enemies that must inevitably be removed from your path, O King of Kin. Now, now, just hold on. At our current stage, how could we possibly have thought of an answer to such a huge question? Yeah, Shui Doken, he got you! Kid, the King of Kid, Key got you there! That is um, what I journeyed all the way to Kanyo for, to hear this answer from your mouth. 
And if um, you were to have been um, spouting vulgarities about conquest when um, you did not even have a solution prepared, then I, uh, then I shall be forced, wait, then I shall be forced ra uh, to raise a second coalition army and put kin to the, the torch first. What? Your majesty, that is, well, there's no need to be so worked up, your majesty. If it is an answer you seek, then I have it. Oh! uniting the um the country of china like because he thought of the next step further like what about the people what about the people of china like are you going to for like outside of kin are you how are you going to force them how are, are you going to force them to comply to um become force them to become citizens of kin because a utopia is not because utopia is not realistic it is a fantasy. I'm just, like, the thing for me is I'm glad Reboken wasn't there because Reboken is such an ass. I can't, because, like, Reboken would have been just trolling and done some really stupid shit. But, like, this is a really good question. Like, how is Say going to, um, how, like, at, like what is Say going to do after he, ta after, like, after, um, he conquers all of China? That's a good question. I really, uh, that's a really good question. I can't wait to hear it. Um, uh, hear what Say has to, has to say next chapter. What do you nerd against Say? What do you think is Say is going to um, answer? Like, is Say going to just be like a total troll and a total ass to Oaken? But the thing, like, what do you think he's going to do? Like, cause Say always, Say has an answer for everything. Say is just so goddamn wise. He really is. He's wise beyond his years. Say is just totally goddamn wise. But Oaken, man, like, Oaken, Oaken got you there. Um, Shui Oaken. He did. Oaken got you there. He did. Cause he did say that it would be a state of depravity amongst the citizens. And I like that show, um, that Oaken was thinking about the bigger picture. Because I think up like up until this point, we were just looking at the narrow pit of like at the um at the at the narrow this narrow picture of just taking of not taking over of unifying China. We're lo we were just looking at Say's general goal and narrow picture of un of a unified China. His this fantasy of a unified China of a utopia where man wouldn't fight against one another anymore. There would be no need for war anymore. But now Oaken is broadening and looking at the bigger picture of like, okay, what's going to happen after you do that? What, and if you can't, and if you can't answer that question, then you know what? I'm going to get the coalition back together and we're, and, and even if I, do, and if I don't like your answer, I'm going to get the coalition army back together and we're going to wipe you out. Cause we, I don't want any more harm done to the people. I like that answer. I like him. I like what I like. Oaken's line of thinking. I really do. What do you know to get think about this? Um. Uh, let me know in the comment section below. And also, what? How do you think Say is going to answer the question, especially the one about what about the point? Like, how do you think he's going to rebuttal? Um, Oaken's point about the citizens and the and the roots, because I like that analogy about the citizens and the root um, and their roots. I really like that point. Anyway, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Think. Also, um, if you want to ex help expand Nerdigan Think, because the struggle is about to get really real at Struggle Apartment Studios, there's a couple things you could do. You can either donate to the um, Nerdigan Zinc Patreon or purchase something from the Nerdigan Zinc uh, Amazon wishlist. Both links are in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow Nerdigan Zinc, the Nerdigan Zinc Twit, or AK Twitter. Um, my Twits is in the handles in the description box below as well, as well as my uh, Twitch channel. Now that I have my 
work schedule and my school schedule fi figured out, I'll be able to have a set date for uh, Video Game Nerd Again live streams. I'll make an announcement of that, uh, a video announcement of that pretty soon as well. Um, and also make sure you friend me on PlayStation Network and because when I start getting multiplayer games, we'll, um, I'll start playing with you Nerdigans online as well. And until next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye. Say bye to Shomo. Bye.